Hi, my name is Rachel Kaiser and I am from Montana most recently and now I live in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. My story I'm going to tell is about me living in Hawaii and why I moved to Montana. On the 4th of July, um, probably 1990, well no, 2004, um, I was working on opening a art gallery in Chinatown, um, downtown Honolulu, and I was wanting to do some research. And so I went to the library, the state library. Now, I completely forgot it was 4th of July weekend, because in my experience, Hawaii, well, in Hawaii, we don't really celebrate the 4th of July so much. So I went to the library, and they were, of course, closed. And right next door to the state library is Queen Lili O'Kalani's palace. And there were a group of Hawaiian nationalists protesting the 4th of July and camping outside of the palace. So, me being curious, I had to go check it out. And I ended up spending the whole day into the evening and bringing some of my friends even to meet them. They, I learned such a rich history of the Hawaiian nation and colonization of Hawaii and, um, and the sadness they have been going through with their land, because the land of Hawaii, the Aina, is their spirituality. And I'm not, I want to say I'm not really telling the story or story accurately or, or their relationship with the Aina. It's deeper than I can even express. But when you take away their land, that's taking away their, their religion in a sense. It's like having Christianity without Jesus, you know. So they, it was a very honest and um, telling and a whole part of the history of Hawaii that I had never heard so honestly and bluntly told. And I had been questioning my role living in Hawaii, even though I am an American and Hawaii is a state, I definitely felt like a white girl taking up space in this beautiful island. And I was a single mom as well. And even though I was an artist and contributing to the community, I did feel like I was still a drag. I didn't have enough to contribute back as much as I was taking. And everything that I was against, I was actually really doing. So what does that mean then, you know? Um, your life is your truth, not what you believe, in a sense, if you're not living it. So at that point is when I decided to move from Hawaii and move to Montana, where my family lives, and live there and leave Hawaii to have more space, <laughs> less, do less people. And Montana, even though that is another space that we took up, so to speak, um, I was able to give more than take from Montana. So it was a good, a good move.